hari I'm doing my first canvas stretching project I uh, I ordered this G clay print it's a Winslow Homer print on canvas uh, and it doesn't come stretched it comes rolled up in a tube and so I thought this would be a good project for my first initial learning how to stretch canvas uh, I've got a start on it I uh, assembled my stretcher bars that came yesterday stapled them put it together got it square with my trusty combination square and uh, I got the uh, support for the canvas stabilized <clears throat> and I've got this the first four there's a staple in the center in each side right now uh, what I did not do when I did this yesterday to center up the image to get it all straight where I want it. It's a slight little overlap of the image on each edge. Uh, I've got it pretty well centered where I want it. Uh, what I don't have is quite tight enough and I did not have the foresight yesterday when I made my initial four tackings to so start in the center starting in the center work our way out what I did not use yesterday was my canvas pliers and uh, so I'm going to remove two of these center staples one on one side and one on the end and I'm going to pull it a little bit tighter and restaple it as I've been taking my canvas stretching lessons on TV on YouTube so we'll put that down a little what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna remove this staple right here I got my little craftsman straight edge hobbyists that one's in there pretty good I think it'll leave that one and we'll do this one on its opposite side. I'm going to take that staple out because so I can get that under there a little better. I'm going to pop that staple right out of there. <coughs> Pliers. All right. It's out. I might as well grab a hold. I'm going to give this a bit of a stretch. Uh, we do it like that. Uh, maybe I'll try it like this. Uh, that's for a different application, I do believe. Okay, we got that tighter now. I think. That, uh, thing there is useless. A little spring. I don't know. If this is quite as easy as they make it out to be.
that's a little tighter, but not much. And I'm sure there's a technique to using this. stretching thing. Is there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll do that. Let's try this. That one's in there pretty good. They're both in there pretty good. So, this is not a how-to video. This is more a this is more what am I doing wrong video to professional canvas stretching maker that was might be watching. <laughs> like what's the fucking proper way of using this thing I'm not sure it did show like that but this doesn't really go do that I think that's for a different kind of it's for a heavier stretcher bar I do believe alright so tighter hmm. supposed to go one across from each other. We really need that spring-loaded fucking thing, do we? Okay. drum sound yet. Doesn't have a heavy drum sound yet. Okay. Too far over, I think. Let's go more like here. All right, 
they make it look like it you know takes five minutes on their YouTube videos but longer than that. from the middle. Ah! Yeah. Jesus. Ain't as young as I used to was. 
I ain't as young as I used to was. A fucking staple gun. Hurts a little. Hurts an old man like me. Yes, sir. Anyway. So you see what I'm doing? I can't guarantee I'm even doing it right, but I'm just pulling the canvas around that stretcher bar tight as I can. Holding it down so I get a staple in it across from my last one. Well, that's the wrong place, but that's all right. We're going to do it anyway. Because we got a bite on it. Yes, yeah, so that one. Maybe that's what that's for. Makes fucking sense if it is for that. <laughs> Having never done this before, I do have a pair of these somewhere laying around. I uh, bought the estate of an old ship modeler and a, the guy, he also did a little painting himself. I never knew what they were. I'm like, what the hell are those? I have them still somewhere downstairs. I bought these because I couldn't find the ones that I have, but they're down in the basement in a toolbox or somewhere in a bag. Never known what they were. Canvas stretching pliers. That's what they are. Yes, huh? We need one here. Even it up. That's fairly tight. I'll be goddamn. <laughs> My genius fucking surprises myself sometimes. <laughs> you. Yeah. All right, now we've been shown how to do this. I'm getting where I probably ought to start thinking about doing that in corners. Just right. Now, what that does is that goes down there like that. It's supposed to fold over along there like that. Tuck that in there like that. Keep rolling that under. Just like that. Just like that. So we're going to pull this tight here. You don't really want that double fold. You could cut that double fold out. 
should double fold the other way. It should double fold like that. That should go like that. like that. If we did like that. And there we go. that yet. Alright. I have to do it like that. I have to do it like that. I've got a little bit of double fabric in there. But a little bit tight right in there can put one more right there Let's do the side opposite that there don't want to do okay. rip the canvas as we go along I don't want to wreck it don't want to wreck it now we got the corner problem here again it's not really a problem corner technique
I wanted to secure that corner over there first. mistake put staples in both sides of the framing okay so there's a lesson learned only staple the back of the stretcher bars all right well so far that's how it's done we're going to trim this off trim that off but 